Wow, an indoor water park. Hopefully this will put the final nail in the coffin of lakes and rivers. Well, as a mother, I... We all know you're a mother. I had... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I thought baths that were more exciting. Baths! Oh my god, a plastic ring. Out of my way, you little twerps! I want that ring. Awesome. Millhouse, how long you been waiting in line? You mean you didn't use the app last week to get your Slam and Salmon line number? Attention bathers, this is water park president Cal A. Bunga. Do not panic, but the pools are infested with those tiny fish that swim up your wiener. <laughs> Again, do not panic. If you think a wiener fish has entered your dingus, the only cure is to roll around naked in the snow. <laughs> Oh, dear God! Bio breach! No heartbeat. Finally, a chance to use my online CPR training. Come on, come on! You have so much more trash to eat! Steal one more breath, noble bandit! <laughs> You. For once, a life saved at a Springfield water park where a quick-thinking second grader performed emergency CPR on a drowning nuisance animal. <laughs> we saw you on the picture radio. Lisa, it looks like you're the perfect student to look after Nibbles the hamster here during spring break. And for saving that raccoon, I got the opposite of teasing. What's going on, Chief? Oh, nasty car crash. We need to get home. I left my father-in-law on the sofa. He's gotta be turned. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. Not unless you clean up this accident scene. <laughs> Actually, seriously, could you do that? But but these crime scene cleanups, they're totally safe. All the bad people are dead or uh, at large. So give it a shot. Please, please, Mom. Huh? There you go. Spick and spank. You know, Marge, uh, you ever want some fast extra cash? We are always looking for crime scene cleaner uppers. You know what they say, crime always pays. Hello, little girl. Oh, does your hamster have Tizer's disease? That would have been interesting, but I swabbed him for Tizer's and it came up negative. Is there any way I could work in your office? Grab a clean smock and follow me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't find a clean smock. Then your first job is to clean the smocks. This is heaven. You gotta help me, Doc. My pet ferret has lost its terrible stink. Clear. We have stink lines. Well done, Lisa. Heaven! <laughs> Dr. Budgie, I'm really enjoying cleaning out these cages. No, really I am. But are there any jobs that are more exciting? Oh, Lisa, slow down. Do you know how many awkward courses I had to take before they let me put my arm inside a horse? I understand. I just feel like I could be doing more. Oh, me. I think we need a new ceiling fan. The old one doesn't seem safe. It's fine, and it saved us money on haircuts. <laughs> Springfield PD, PD, Police Department. Ha, I just got that. Chief, Chief, this is Marge Simpson. I think I'd like to do some of those crime scene cleanups. What's the matter, little guy? You haven't touched your berries. Do you need aphids for flavor? Mmm, aphids. Lisa, could you come here for a moment? If I hold him, do you think you could attend to the matter of the needle? Of course. Huh. Why am I not feeling the same rush I did with the raccoon? <laughs> I bought a new ceiling fan. Huh? Ooh, I thought the air felt a little more lively. But where did you get the money? Actually, 
I made a little extra by cleaning up crime scenes. And I get the police discount on cleaning supplies. I can finally clean Grandpa's dentures. Yeah, I got popcorn in there from Kramer versus Kramer. Yar, is the doctor read, miss? Little Goldie here is listing hard to starboard. Uh, I fear he may have tangled with the wrong plastic diver. Hmm, could be fin rot. Captain, the diagnosis of fin rot is not the death sentence it used to be. A couple drops of medicine in the water and he'll be fine. Hmm. Yar, that's amazing. <laughs> Hurry, Doc. His lungs are full of seltzer. <laughs> oh, no, no. Happy birthday, Martin. Where's the gift table? <laughs> right over there, my friend. Some zoo. Where are the rental strollers? The animals are healthy. A couple of paddock scrapes, but nothing overly concerning. Oh, knock it off. You're not a vet. You're a glorified cage scrubber. Want some peanuts, Mr. Elephant? Ah, uh, it's a goat, not an elephant, and those are shrimp, not peanuts, and that goat is allergic to shrimp. Your breath smells like, don't drink that. Me, 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 me. See, Bart, life or death, I make the choice. Guess what, sweetie? I'm wearing my snuggle socks. They're compression socks from your heart surgery. All the same. <sighs> What's wrong? It's just that seeing you lying down reminds me of this bloated corpse I had to clean up today. No, I've never seen him like this. He's so listless. Who's lost the urge to kill? Who's lost the urge to kill? I'll tell you what's wrong with him. You! What? Me? Some people don't deserve to own pets. And you get to decide who? Please, look at yourself. You've become so arrogant you've forgotten who you are. And even worse, you've forgotten nibbles! Did you let this happen to a creature in your care? Pet hamsters need to be played with regularly, or they feel abandoned. And that can lead to stress polyps on the heart. Well, we've done all we can. The next 24 hours will be crucial. Oh, he's gone. No, no! Okay, Mart, sweetie, look at this one. See, Mart, the baby laughs every time the toaster pops. <laughs> it is pretty hysterical. That's nice. I want my Marge back. Hello? What is it, boy? Uh-huh. I see. That's not how Homer Simpson does things. I have to go help Lisa. No answer. I guess we gotta do this ourselves. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> if there's one thing I'll always clean up, it's my baby's tears. Well, I'll be. Lisa's learning about death helped Marge feel again. Yes, a perfect dovetail. I want to thank everyone for coming to Nibbles' funeral today. This is President Cal A. Bunga. On this sad occasion, the school flag will be flying at half ass. Bart! Please stand for Nibbles' final journey. Must have really tied one on last night. 6 a.m. Still early enough to sneak into bed and pretend I actually got home at 3 a.m. <laughs> huh? Where's Marge? <laughs> Maggie? Has anyone seen anyone? Oh, of course. They must all be taking a family bath. Without me. <laughs> Fine, Google Maps. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you attacking me? Mo, oh, my family's gone, my dog hates me, and I can't remember what happened last... Came in saying you really needed to forget something, so I mixed you up the most powerful drink I got. The forget-me shot. Red Stripe from Aquafresh. 
And the funniest ingredient, the venom of the Louisiana lobotomy. You stir it with a home pregnancy test till it turns positive. And presto, the forget-me shot. The point is, this drink is the ultimate brain bleacher. One swig wipes out the last day of your life. Girl! Huh? What the hell am I doing here? Oh my god. Why would I want to wipe out my memory? What horrible thing did I do? You don't remember, huh? There was a domestic disturbance at your address yesterday. What's going on here, Simpson? Am I gonna need the zip strips? Everything's fine. Give, Simpson. Giving your wife an Irish kiss? No, I swear. It was my fault. I bah! All right, Dor, you're coming downtown. Marge had a black eye? Flanders, why did you call the cops last night? I had to. I heard a hubbub, bub. What did I do? Stop, Homer, please! No, it can't be. I would never hurt Marge. I'm a good man. Thank goodness you come to visit me, son. Dad, I can't remember what I did last night. Do you have any idea? You come to me for help remembering? I'm afraid I did something to make Marge and the kids leave me. Wait, I know someone who can help you. A doctor who helps people dig up old memories. Mr. Simpson, I have built a device that will enable you to explore your memories. My first beard. These wonderful wrinkle bags are reliving their cherished memories of yesteryear. Me a nerd. To me, nerd stands for not even remotely dorky. So thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Oh, oh. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Your memory bubble and you. This bubble allows you to view any past event from your life. Oh, I landed in a pleasant memory. Look at happy me and playful them. And we're off. Now remember, steer into the sculptures. <laughs> Oh, I missed those bygone days of earlier this week. But I'm needed in a darker place. Huh? Those squeaks sound like couch springs grooving to the beat of love. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, Homer, I didn't want you to find out this way. Find out who that guy is, but I need help. Someone like Bart. Only smart. Lisa! I'm about to probe the most shattering moment of my life. You want to join me? Yo, Homer, can you take me to when you were 10 to see if I can kick your butt? Bring it on. <laughs> You're superior to me in every way. What did you want from me? Money? Weed? Oh. I'll teach you to beat up yesterday. You just destroyed your first kiss. Who was it with? Uh, Apu. Right. Is this really something I should show you? We're just representations of them that you created in your mind. That means I can have pizza anytime I want. I'd like to order a pizza. 35 minutes? Who the heck is that guy? What if he just moved the box? Oh, how can I get my memory to work? You can get your brain to work the same way you always get the TV to work. By hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to find out this way. <gasps> Duff man. I'm just giving it to your wife. She is going to be sore tomorrow. No! My wife left me. I've done horrible things. My family's gone. My life is ruined. <gasps> are you my guardian angel? Yes, we are. Jump, and we'll carry you to heaven. Wait a minute. If killing myself would make you too happy, then I'm not gonna do it. Don't worry about our happiness. For once, think of yourself. Ah! Life's flashing before my eyes. Life well lived. Until last night. I guess I'll have to watch that now. 
Homer, I didn't want you to find out this way. We were planning a surprise party for you. A surprise party? Sorry, your surprise party was spoiled. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. Duff Beer is sponsoring the party, featuring new Duff Champagne, the beer of champagne. Stop, Homer, please. Ah, my eye. <sighs> she is going to be sore tomorrow. So Marge wasn't cheating on me. Oh, right. Oh, my God, I'm not dead. Homie, this is your party. This is great. Keep it up, people. The night is young. <laughs> um, it's 11. You want to pay for the extra hour? Or... Jeez, Homer, I can't believe your plan actually worked. What plan? Marge put so much work into that party. The least I could do is be surprised. If only I could forget what happened today. I've spit in every drink I ever served you. <laughs> Bottoms up! Hmm. The only problem is I'm sure to retain some image of coming home and finding Duff Man. Oh, I'm a genius. And when you pushed me off the bridge, it's because you knew about the party and wanted to make sure I got here. Yeah, that must be it. The only thing that still doesn't make sense is why the dog attacked me. Because you never feed him, walk him, or let him out to pee. <laughs> to a man, I'm happy to call my best friend Homer Simpsnow. Simpson, dyslexia, Duffman, secret shame. Aren't you going to drink? No, this is a moment I want to remember. Oh.